spent listening to this song and it is absolutely stunning you guys need to check it out I actually posted about a song yesterday from the same artist yesterday and that is why I do this make this video yesterday was absolutely crazy and while I'm saying this I'm looking straight and something caught my eyes and that is the deck journey of love that I actually got from I think it was Catherine journey of love well makes sense with what I'm going to talk about so I did not plan out anything when it comes to this because once again my higher self my spirit guide Shiva said speak from your heart um i already now feel emotional but i know it's because this is very deep this is very life-changing this is going to be very life-changing for a lot of you if not all of you hopefully all of you and i saw a podcast yesterday and for me to explain this in the way that i want to explain it in the way that you guys are going to understand this in a more deeper way. I need to explain what happened for someone else. You know, someone else's story. Because it all makes sense. I actually, I saw it pretty late yesterday and I just really wanted to call it Amanda and, and tell this because, oh my god, people. But... My mind yesterday was just all over the place, you know. <laughs> I think I was too hyper to actually be able to explain it. <laughs> so I think it's good that I explain it today. So I talked with Amanda for an hour and it's just... <sighs> it was deep. And there's just so many things that make sense and I look at the world and look at myself in a different way and I know that you guys are going to do the same you're going to look at uh, your pets in a different way other people your soul family but let me get into it so I saw this podcast and I'm going to link the podcast down below if you guys want to watch it but it is Rylan Adams's podcast and for people who don't know who Rylan Adam is he is like YouTube personality he is uh, engaged to Shane Dawson a lot of you guys might have heard of about Shane Dawson he's a youtuber and this year has been very 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 rough for him there has been a lot of you know he got cancelled basically he got cancelled you know which this cancel you know canceling people I just don't understand it but I think it's because I live on a soul level and a part of living on earth is to learn to forgive, is to grow. You know, again, if we don't make mistakes, how can we grow? So a lot of people don't like him anymore. And yeah, he did stupid things. He promoted stupid things. But I will also say that he did, you know, say sorry. He did delete all the videos. He did grow. Which is what life is about. Learning from our mistakes. Sometimes do big mistakes and learning from them. I think we all have been there to, you know, a degree in our life, right? But it's not what it's about. But I do need to explain this so that you guys understand. So when I think this happened earlier this year with all that like cancellations and there was a lot of things and blah 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 you guys can check it out if you like to but he is a cancer by the way and he is very emotional and we all know that cancers you guys can be very emotional I have been in a relationship with a cancer so I know what I'm talking about but he is very emotional he and Ryland his fiance, fi is that how you say that? If it's a guy, is Taurus. So I think it's a very good match, actually. They, you know, they have their, you know, Ryland is very strong, and you know, Shane is very, um, 
yeah, emotional, but he's very psychic, so it comes with the package. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about when I say if you are spiritual, if you are connected with the other side, we are very emotional, we are very empathic, um, sensitive. So it makes sense. I am going to link a video I actually did about the power and the gift about being empathic or being highly sensitive, if you guys want to see it. And yeah, I did, you know, I was a bit, you know, like, how should I explain this to you guys? How should I put this down? So I went into meditation and my higher self came to me and Shiva came to me um, and explained to me, you need to just speak from your heart again, like I did when I did the spiritual awakening video that I'm also going to link up here. I don't know if this is actually too wide because it feels a bit wide. I don't know what's up with um, this camera today. But yeah. I got told to speak from your heart because you will know what to say when you say it, which makes sense. I also paid attention to that Revan, my raven spirit guide, is also here, which makes sense because Revan is connected with my psychic abilities when I do tarot cards or when I chant. So he's also here. Yeah. But. So. I speak from my heart, I say what comes to mind, I try to go through this as good as I can, still trying to make you guys understand what I'm saying, <laughs> what I mean. But yeah. So he's been pulling the plugs, plugs. He's not been on YouTube, he's not been on social media. He totally, you know, fell down a dark, dark hole. It is a dark night of the soul. I mean, we all, you know, 2020 is really soul searching. It's shadow work. It's the dark night of the soul. So, yeah, he went through that heavy, you know, way heavier than a lot of other, a lot of other people. Because for him, it was public, which I really, you know, regardless of what people, you know, have done, it's not like he killed someone or something like that. Um, to have people bash you down in public, like people did with him, cancel him, you know, yeah. That must be tough to go to. And at the same time, I don't know why I get emotional, <laughs> going through a spiritual awakening. Yes. Why am I so empathic? <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. So Rylan and Shane, they have two dogs and they have a cat they have had for a long time. And... You know, it's also for you guys to understand things, but the dogs has obviously normally been, you know, together with the other cat that they had. And, you know, it seems like very sweet dogs. There's nothing aggressive or something like that. Um, so they got this new baby kitten that really changed Shane's life completely and you have guys have to remember that he has been in a state this year where he was very sad angry probably also pushing away love i feel because situations like that do that to people and all that is just, you know, it's just like, I explained this yesterday, I think, with this, like, ah, uh, being tense and, you know, having pain everywhere and, you know, not eating properly and, yeah, a lot of things. So, this little cat, you know, he connected with this little cat uh, on a way that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of us who has animals, we understand that. But we have special animals, and I look over there because I look at Moon all the time because Moon is sleeping. And you guys know the story with my other cat that died, so I totally deeply feel for this, and you guys are going to understand. But he connected with this cat in a way that was just like very like a soulmate, and something happened. 
I think there's something about that. Again, they had the little cat in one room and the dogs and the other cat in another room. But something happened where there was noise or something and the little cat was running into the other room where the dog dogs was. And they heard and I don't know if it was like a cry or something like that. Um, and I don't know what happened because obviously they, they didn't see it. But it was a freak accent and the cat got like, I think it was vomiting or something like that, but it got very sick so they took it to the vet. <clears throat> and because of the corona situation, obviously they couldn't really get in there. So, you know, being in that situation that you can't be with your, your pet and again, for people who have pets, you guys know that we it's like a family member, it's like a human being. And again, you guys are going to understand why I go so much in details with explaining this because otherwise the other things are not going to make sense. But there was a lot of, you know, they went back home, I think, and there was a lot of calls throughout the day with like, it's going okay, it's going fine, I think the kitten is going to make it. But then, I remember Shane talked about that before that they, get, they got the last call, I think it was very late at night, he had a dream where... And this is very, again, pay attention. He had a dream where he met, the little kitten's name was Mario, I think it was. Yeah. I hear someone say sweet soul. Don't make me cry already. <laughs> but, um, Someone say go on, yes. He had a dream where he met Mario, but Mario was not a cat, it was a, a guy, a man. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that. So after he got woken up by Ryland, his fiance with the news that, you know, the cat is not going to make it. So they drove back to the vets and they were sitting outside. And you guys have to remember, Shane has been through a lot of, you know, stress. So the relationship has also suffered under that. So they had, he was just explaining that they had a moment where everything didn't matter. All this like YouTube drama and the canceling and the stress and social media, you know, looking at the phone, he explained actually, um, while they had, I think they had like Mario for two weeks or something like that, he didn't check his social media during this time because he was occupied with this little soul that came into their life. <laughs> Moon Moon was like, hmm? <laughs> He's sleeping, but she for some reason woke up and was looking straight at me. And now she fell down again. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So they were sitting outside and they were holding hands and they were just being together, you know. And he did explain that it was a long time ago since, you know, they had that connection where everything didn't matter anymore. A lot of things clicked. And obviously, you know, the, the cat didn't survive. And I think Rylan really bashed himself down because that it was like oh it's my fault I could have done something you know if I did this different oh maybe it didn't happen so there was a little guilt together with grief which we all know that is you know oof that's a heavy energy but again it was a freak accent and you guys are going to you know sometimes bad things happen for a reason cats dogs animals come into our life for a reason. Again, someone pointed out the journey of love. Yeah, it's, it's a journey for us to learn to love, manage grief, but still learning from the grief and realizing that no matter what happens in our life, there's always space for love. That wanted to come out. So, you know, after, obviously they get back home and Shane had a moment where he went into the room like where um, Mario always was 
and he was just sitting there and he was like are you where are you my angel where are you my spirit guide where what was you why did you come into my life you know he had a lot of questions and he asked that and he asked for a sign and he heard a voice that said look at the first video <laughs> why am i so emotional <laughs> look at the first video and they got mario from someone else who made that video that's you know they sent them this video so it was the first video ever and it was a video from mario um from where they got him and it was uh, you know there was a lot of other cats in the video but you can see that he is walking over to an angel statue sta <coughs> the camera died a camera stop he's walking over to an angel statue he got his um answer and to go back to what i said earlier remember the, the dream that shane had that he came to him yeah he came to him in a dream when he talked and in the dream i remember he said that mario that was a person said to shane that he was his angel he was his guide and he was in his life to bring him back you know, to this like all of all this drama. For the first thing he learned was that all this is true, because before he had this, and I think a lot of us can agree to this. A lot of us has we have this like, oh, is it really true that there is spirits or angels or spirit guides? But with all that happened, he got his confirmation. You know that oh my god this is true and again he also learned well i think he learned a lot of things there's a lot of things both of them learned from that situation um yeah and it's interesting to think about that our especially our pets that they are you know, angels, spirit guides, who are with us sometimes just for a short amount of time. And you guys know what I have said about Moon Moon. She came into my life in the most strange way, because it was the neighbor's cat. But because of the two dogs were after her all the time, we took her in. And she is here to teach me about love. She's here to teach me about independence. She's teaching me a lot of things. She's, you know, especially this, if she is like gone for a whole entire day, I need, and she does that from time to time. And I know it's it's like a test for me to see, are you going to freak out? Are you going to trust that I'm coming back again? She always comes back. So I learned not to freak out if she's gone, which I feel has something to do with my abandonment um, <laughs> issues. <laughs> And uh, I said that to you guys, that if you have Pluto in Scorpio, which a lot of us have, we do have this, like, aban aba uh, we are afraid to be abandoned in life. And that is something we need to learn to deal with, which Moon Moon is here to teach me. Especially also with the video I did yesterday, December is, you know, your North and South Node, your life purpose coming together. So whatever you need to learn from a past life, you are learning that now, because we are in November while I filmed this, but also in December. It's preparing us for 2021, where our dreams are coming into reality. But our dreams are being fulfilled when we step into our soul purpose, our life purpose. I actually wish that I could sit down with Shane and speak about all this because he has such a big audience, so many people, young people who follow him. So I actually think that it would be awesome if he could teach them about this, you know, Aquarius, age of Aquarius that we're living in. And who knows, maybe one day I'm going to, you know, make a podcast with him <laughs> talk about all this but anywho so the other thing that is mind-blowing that i'm going to talk with you guys about is that he talked about that he saw and i'm so 
I'm also going to link that down there because I know a lot of you guys are dealing with grief, especially if it's pets um, dying. Because again, I've been there, I know how hard it is. But he talked about that he followed this YouTuber who is like an animal psychic, I guess you can say. And he said some things in this podcast where I was like, oh my effing god. But basically, I'm going to try to explain this and like Shiva said, I should just go with it with, you know, follow my heart, listen to my heart and just explain this. But <clears throat> I was just checking if uh, this setting is right, but apparently it is. So we are a soul. And We know that our higher self is, you know, a part of us. It's actually us. And we all have this like, you know, if people die, they go to the other side, they go to heaven. Um, and some of us are very sad if someone dies because we think a lot about like, well, if they die alone, I'm not there to help them or I'm not there to take care of them or, you know, guide them, whatever. You actually are, because apparently this is how my doing. Ninety percent of your soul. This is crazy, but hear me out. Ninety. I will write it if I say it wrong. Ninety percent of our soul is up there. Is in another realm. Ten percent is you, in your earthly self. 10% think about that for a moment and we all know that this 10% our mission is to guide this 10% 10 home to the other realm so now that her 90 90% of our soul is up there we, you know, all of all of you guys. You know, it's you know, it's uh, the same with our animals. That means that we always connected, and we always connected with our soul family up there. So your higher self is that ninety percent. So it's actually you, and the thing is that I have always had a little problem with like putting my higher self together with me for some reason it's been very very hard for me to do that because I I always had this feeling of separating my higher self with me which is not true because if 50% of our soul is up there and that 50% is our higher self that means that it's us but it's all about connecting that. So the 50%, which is your higher self, is also your intuition. It's your gut instinct. It's the, the voice that always tells us, like, maybe don't go that way. Or you have to go this way. You have to listen to this. You have to do this. But the 10% that is us in our earthly form is sometimes held back by the ego because the ego is so strongly linked together with this like world it's always trying to trap us down instead of us going up which is our higher self and the ego does put a lot of fear and limitations into our life it's always trying to push us down, you know, it's not like you need to die and go back up there, that's not what I say. But you need to connect that 10% with your higher self and realize that it's actually you. Which for me, that was a big turning point to realize that 19% of me is my higher self. It's up there. It knows everything. That means that your family members, your soulmates, your friends, twin flames, whatever it is, they are all connected with you on that plan. That 
percent of your soul plan, whatever you call this. And they always, they know they are up there having a blast, having a party, being like, okay, you're going to go through this, you're going to go through that, you're going to meet this person, you're going to go through that lesson. But again, now that 10% is us down here, we sometimes forget that we actually have this ability because it is us. And I feel you guys realizing that 90% of you, of your soul, soul that's a lot of birds. Oh, again, I guess they, <laughs> it's you. It's you. You have those powers. So for people who've been like, I don't know if I'm psychic or I don't know if I have those powers. Remember that 90% of you is your higher self. It's up there in the other realm where everything is like, you know, visible or, you know, reachable, I guess you can say. You, that's also the way that we recognize our soulmates and our soul tribe, our soul family. It's just very mind-blowing to think about. And another thing that they spoke about is that um, both Shane, I think, saw Ryland on, in a video before that they met. And when he... I know a lot of you guys are going to ring truth to this because I have done that myself. When he saw him on that video, he was like, I'm going to marry that person. This is my soulmate. I know it for sure. And some time after, he met him through Bumble, I think it, it's called. For people who are like, what is that? I think it's something... I think it's the same as tw uh, Twitter. I think it's the same as... What's it called? tender and they are engaged now so he was right and obviously he was right because that he you know <laughs> his highness self recognized him because it's a soul family it's a, you know it's people that we are connected with and there was a girl in the podcast and she had the same experience with her husband that she saw him and was like i'm going to marry that person they are married so I think it's very important for us to be connected with our highest of which is you. It is you. It is way more you than, again, uh, the flesh and bones. And I do understand that concept way better now. <sighs> yeah. So if you have recognized someone, if you have felt that instant connection, it's not by mistake. And I have also felt this connection with a lot of you guys because there is this like recognition and obviously there is this recognition because that our higher self is putting us together with who we need to be put together with. But obviously the 10% which is our human body does need to learn to connect with the higher elements I guess you can say. So it's food for thought. Nothing is a coincidence. And I think that we are actually also learning to handle grief in a new way, anger, to be in this forgiveness. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <sighs> is there anything else? Well, also now that your higher self, and your higher self is pure energy, it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, they said something, what was that? Because the girl that was in the podcast had said something, like, and they did like, a, not, not a dark episode, but they did an episode in the podcast after they got the cat, where they like, talked about like death and stuff, and I think the girl said something about, well, you know, what if the dogs um, smother, what do you call that, like, you know, like, yeah, like lay on the kid, the kitten so it dies or something like that, and what is that, by the way, <laughs> little light spot, <laughs> and Shane pointed out something, because 
our soul family is also obviously our family in this life but also our friends and people who are close to us you know they are connected with you up there so obviously your higher self makes your earthly self which is the 10 percent say something that is hints so shane was like and i thought about that because it happens a lot for me where i'm like saying something and then years after or weeks after it actually happens but shane talked about obviously now that she is a part of their soul family she got that instinct intuition where she said it but she said it in like of course it's never going to happen but you know it might have been what happened so maybe it was a message to be like listen this could happen but if we don't listen out for the signals that might be a little like um for example you know days where you feel sick There's a reason why you feel sick, so don't drive to work, don't take the bus if you feel like you don't, you don't, if there's something coming up, if you are running late or something like that, you know, you guys know what I mean. There's a reason, and we need to start to learn to pay attention to our intuition, because it's actually guiding us and helping us. Even though that sometimes there is things in our life that we simply can control you know some things are planned out to happen but we need to learn to deal with those the cer certain things yeah i feel this is actually all i wanted to say it's all my heart wanted to share with you guys because when i learned about it yesterday it just it opened up for something else where I see things differently. I'd really like to know in, a, in the comments if you guys feel the same. Do you have like a big oh my god feeling? Like aha moment. I really, I really want to teach you guys and help you guys to connect with your higher self. Because your higher self is you. I want to teach you guys uh, to connect to 10%. With the 90%. I might have said it like wrongly in the, you know, <laughs> earlier on. I always mix up the numbers. Yeah. It's just very mind blowing. So pay attention. If you see someone online and you connect with them, if there is this like strange connection, they are part of your soul tribe, your soul family, and they are either there to teach you something, to guide you, um, or to be with you. To work with you. I don't know why the curtains moved. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's very overcast suddenly. Yeah. Oh my god, the clouds look like a butterfly. If that is not a sign. Remove the cloudiness from the mind. Again, connect those 10%. Because they want to go home. And it's not about dying. It's about connecting that energy. Those two energies. She actually explained something in the podcast. About, I don't know if it was quantum physics. Or so, what it was. But it was something about it. Everything is connected. Like there's something about strings. That's connected with the other realm. Or the past and the future. And you know, there was... Whew, it was, it was just so interesting to listen to. So if you have the time and you want to go deep, look at the podcast because it's so mind-blowing. But grab a tissue or two because you are going to cry. It's very deep and it's very emotional. And I'm so happy that I was drawn to watch that podcast because I didn't follow his podcast. And my higher self guided me to watch this so that I could speak about it with you guys because that's why i'm here that's why i have this channel with a lot of things coming up people i might put some clip in of moon moon at the end i'm sneezing all the time suddenly oh my god <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> but okay people i also have a lot of mails to go through that's what i tried to say before i got a blackout <laughs> but there's a lot of things that i want to change 
maybe not change, but I want to put on this channel. I want to also do guided meditations where I guide you guys into connecting with your higher self, where we do healing sessions. I do private healing sessions, and oh, man, I do. I know from a lot of you guys who had private um, healing sessions how much it changes you guys because that I work with you guys is higher self, your spirit guides, your whatever and I just see this in a completely different way now I see it in a different way it's just very eye-opening I can't explain it other than that I want to thank you guys for being a part of this journey. If you guys would not be here watching this, I would not have come this far on my journey. So, you guys deserve the biggest energy hug. I'm hugging all of you guys as high as self. We are hugging up there, people. Group hug. <laughs> come in. <laughs> I can certainly see that that all of us all of you guys watching we are up or uh, in another realm or wherever whatever heaven is for <laughs> different people we are all together there being like you need to talk about this because I want to learn about that you need to do this you need to do that there is no coincidence everything is connected the past the future the present you're way more connected with your animals. If you have animals near, give them a hug. Because it might be a spirit guide or an angel. It is probably that. It's not just a fluffy animal. It's actually a person. A little angel. <laughs> a little spirit guide. <laughs> Moon Moon is, uh, you know, her ear is, uh, mm-hmm. She's just so human sometimes. It's crazy. It's so funny. But I'm going to cut this and then after you guys are going to see Moon Moon. And uh, then I'm going to edit this quickly and get it up because I want you guys to see it. Because I've been so excited and pumped all day to share this with you guys. And now the sun comes up again. It comes, uh, yeah. Whoa. Might also go outside and film the clouds because there might be cloud messages for you guys. But let me know your story, let me know what you think, share your feelings. And thank you guys so much for being a part of this. If you are in need of a private reading, healing, session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. You can also find me on Instagram, you can find Amanda, you can find Kiri on Instagram as well, or YouTube. I don't know why I want to share that, but apparently I want. But thank you guys for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hello, baby. <laughs> you wanna say hey to people? You wanna say hey to people? <laughs> of course you do. Moon Moon always wanna say hey to you guys. <laughs>
Yeah.